Okay. I just refreshed the page, so. Let me know if it's better. That's Finn Balor. Oh, Gunther. Looking to steal a victory, but no. And there's that lead to stop. I apologize, guys. I had to refresh it. I had to simmer it down from 720. Let me know what you got, if it's better or not. Let me know if it's better. Uh-oh. Marcus Mack. Looking for... Ooh, Jones Law. And look at that road step. Oh, God. Oh. And the ring general may be in deep trouble. And look at this. Marcus paying his attention. You have that at the moment? Okay. Nintendo stick. Oh, Marcus saw that coming. Oh, and there's that super kick. Super kick on target. And Marcus looking to go coast to coast. And oh, no. And Marcus. Oh, the power by the ring general. Try to go for that power bomb, but no avail. Down goes the ring Uh oh. Yeah, that's what I had to do. I had to lower the um, I had to lower it because that's the only way it's gonna work. And the ring general. And now Marcus is out and Finn Balor. Balor look at the stealing 1916! 1916 into the cover and Marcus with a save. Uh oh, I don't think he may be safe. Oh, he tried to go for the fatality. Oh, another 1916 and again the ring general. Oh, and an uppercut and now Gunther just taking it to the Intercontinental Champion. And a swinging neck breaker. Yeah, it looks better. I agree. But Finn Balor with the save. And oh, right on the bad leg. Right on the bad leg of Marcus Mack. Marcus got to have that killer instinct. And oh, oh, oh. Marcus holding on. Oh, not no, not no more. And right on to the back. If I was Finn, I go for the kill. And Marcus again with the save. Marcus again with the save. And there goes them kicks. Okay, I, I get you, I get you. And Marcus Mack doing whatever it takes. Now, what has Marcus got playing here? Hot shot, and there goes Finn. There goes Finn. And Marcus, he's focused on... Oh, no. A little too far. A little too far, and... Ooh. I, I get you, I get you. I understand. Swing blade. Followed up with a basement drop kick. Marcus is just going at it like it's no other. And Gunther. Ooh, and Finn got busted wide open. And now Gunther just taking it. To the Intercontinental. Ch oh no, this may not be good. What up again? I'm sorry, uh, it was. Uh, I had to drop my uh, resolution lower because I usually do 720, but I just dropped it down to 540 to make it make it better. 
My apologies, guys, again. Oh, and a stalling suplex. But a batter up it. Oh, no. A batter, batter. You might want to swing for the fences. Batter, batter, swing. And Gunther. Oh, Gunther looking to steal one. Gunther may steal it here. Oh, no. Maybe not. Gunther may steal one here. Germans. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Here it is. Fatality. Fatality. But he's not done. High risk, Eagles, high risk, Ford with a frog splash. Will that be enough for Marcus to retain it? No. Oh, my God. I thought that was it right there. Marcus got to go drastic times. Got to go drastic measures. And, uh-oh. Then, then went 19 Oh, but Gunther with a save right there. Good Lord Jesus. One of these three is going to walk out with the Intercontinental Championship. And that ladder sticking in place. Now it's Finn and Marcus going at it. Ooh, nice elbow by Finn. Finn may go. Finn may go, or maybe not. And, oh, Marcus! Marcus playing a little possum! Playing a little possum, too! Oh, so close. Marcus would have escaped right there. And there's that elbow. And there's a Pele. There's a Pele kick. Guys, this is one heck of a match. This is one match that we may never forget. Nice neck breaker by Marcus. And oh, drop kick. We try going coast to coast, and this time he got it. Coast to coast. Coast to coast, and look at this, Marcus. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, right on the ladder. But he's not done. Not done yet at all, Finn. Finn, oh, taking out the bad leg. Taking out the bad leg, but there's a Kendall stick. And there's a DDT. Oh, no, elbow strike. Oh, man, this may not be good. Marcus got to find a way to get... Oh, look at that, kick after kick after blow. Oh! Shades of LA Knight, Blood Force Trauma, and Suicide Dive. Marcus playing the playing a role of a hero out there. Elbow drops in a second one. Into a third. Marcus is just doing whatever it takes to survive. And Gunther, Gunther! Gunther looking to steal one. One, two. Oh, no. That would have been so dangerous right there. That would have been very preposterous. And there's a Tornado DDT. Tornado DDT. And Marcus looking for fatality. Fatality, could this be? Marcus retains the Intercontinental Championship. What a moment for Marcus Mack. Marcus Mack defies the odds and is Here's still and champion. Still Stampede Wrestling Intercontinental Champion, Pretty Boy Marcus Mack. Marcus Mack has done it.
Marcus defies the odds and walks out still the damn best superstar in RSW history. I really thought it was it right there. I thought it was going to be a difference maker. But in the end, Marcus is still your man and your Intercontinental Champion. Congratulations to Marcus Mack. Walking out still the best damn superstar in the business. Wow, that was a match right there. That was a match right there. At the main event, Absolutions, Ivy Gutierrez Mac defense against Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. And then Sheamus will battle the Miz for the vacant RSW Championship. Eve Torres is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Vanessa Tiller. And then Damian Rage takes on Carmelo Mack. But coming up next, we got women's tag team action. As give me a second. I'm going to put the channel points up. Give me one second, guys. Alright, prediction points are up. Now, guys, if y'all don't know, this is for the RSW Women's Tag Team Championships. Now, as we stated, Absolution, ever since they teamed up with Ivy, they became one of the most dominant brute forces in history. And as we know, Katana Chance won a Fatal 4-Way to win the World Tag, an opportunity for the Tag Team titles. But Dallas Cole and Maggie Morgan, they're not no slouches, but anything can happen in this matchup. Predictions don't match the names. Well, that's really what they are. That's their team name. The Absolution are the champs, and Spitfire Warriors, that's uh, Katana and Kaden. But here we go. It's women's tag team title match, and it's right now. One of the challengers and two of the champs. And here come the challengers. It's a rain in Philadelphia. I mean, hopefully the party can start. I mean, we already started the party. We already crowned new tag team champions in Lars Malenko as well as Austin Graves. Our question on our minds, we already crowned a new women's ta tag team champions. I think so far, a few of the titles haven't changed. The television title hasn't changed. I don't believe... Guys, I'm losing track. <laughs> I'm losing track, guys. But hopefully there'll be a rave in Philly. But they got to go through this team to do it. And there you see Maggie Morgan on your right. Dallas Cole on your left. Together they're known as Absolution. Maggie Morgan and Dallas, ever since they teamed up with Ivy... They became a dominant force to be reckoned with. Hey guys, bear with me. But yeah, I'm, I'm telling people I refresh my page. <laughs> but Extreme Rules, this is one heck of a pay-per-view. That we have already witnessed. 
We crown new RSW World Tag Team Champions. Skills retained. Uh, we had controversial with Toxic Attraction, which is going to end on Rage. Or probably Rebellion. Only time will tell. But for now, it's Women's Tag Team Title Match. We're going to send it down to Mike Rose for the introduction. The following contest is a Tag Team Extreme Rules Match and is for the Ring Stampede Wrestling Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, Kaden Carter and Katana Chance. And their opponents, they are the Ring Stampede Wrestling Women's Tag Team Champions Absolution. They're just waiting to kill each other. They're just waiting to kill each other. And don't forget, their best friend, Ivy, is going to defend against Dr. Britt Baker at RSW. Extreme Rules in Philly tonight. But for right now, it's women's tag team title action. And here we go. The bell is rung. And as I stated before, there are no countouts, no disqualifications. Anything goes in this matchup. Oh, trying to go for a beautiful net breaker by Dallas, but no. Well, I I really was gonna go for black, but like I I really was gonna go for like a white, but I used that for the RSW tag team house. And rage, I have all my stages really pink. I was gonna go with the red. But it's gonna change. Like it's not gonna, it's not gonna last forever. The straps I'm not gonna make pink forever. I'm trying to figure out something to see how it goes. That's Dallas Cole looking. Ooh, is it Gary or Shiny Wizard by Dallas Cole? Black with the pink kick. Okay, I'll. Yeah, because I just tested it out, so, because I was working on championships. As you saw with the television championship, I changed that big time. Like, before you saw that, like, that wasn't the television champion I originally made. And Maggie Morgan into the cover, hooking a leg, and a kick out of two by Katada. As you know, the women... Wait a minute, Dallas again gonna go for the cover. Yeah, I know, like. And Katana Chance taking it to, I believe that's Dallas Cole, yep, and Maggie Morgan against Katana and the Kaden. And there's that guillotine, but it's not really going to matter. It's not really going to matter. Submissions don't count outside the ring. DT by... Nice DDT by Kaden. Dallas, they're taking the advantage, but Maggie... Maggie's saying, nope, not going to hit me with that. And now... Ooh, slap right to the face of Maggie Morgan. Grabbing some weapons? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not grabbing weapons and focus on Katana. And now Kaden and Dallas going at it. That's a lot of momentum for Absolution. But it could be theirs to lose. Ooh! Nice move there by Dallas. And Katana. Katana tried to go for a cover, but again, it does not matter. You gotta win. You gotta win inside the ring. And that's good, Ricky. Good with me, guys. I'm gonna put my phone on the charger. Magic still going on, so. <laughs> I 
was Maggie. I focused on Kaden, but nope. I was. <laughs> oh, nice driver by Dallas. Is that enough? No Katana kicking out. My fault, guys, about that. <laughs> the thing keeps going special, right? What the hell? I dropped it. Like, what the? I think the feed keeps, like, dropping because, like, it's where I'm at because where I'm at, I got a bunch of trees near me. So that may be one of the reasons. That may be one of the reasons why, like, I live near a bunch of trees. Uh-oh, there's that combination. Nice combination. Oh, Maggie Morgan. Oh, end of the cover. Is that going to be enough? One, two, and too little, too late for Kaden. No, I, I didn't run it at one. I didn't run it at that. I ran it at uh, 540. As Absolution is still tag team champions. Kaden Carter was just too little, too late. Yeah, too little, Here too late winners, there. And still, Ring Stampede Wrestling Women's Tag Team Champions Absolution. Absolution still has the tag team titles. And they're going to walk out still. I don't know. I usually run it at 720. I run it at 720, uh, are you, 720 standard, because that's how I did it, I didn't run it, like, as a high, but congratulations to Dallas Cole retaining, the tag team, top, Dallas Cole and Maggie Morgan retaining, as, yeah, so far, every title has retained, we only crowned one champion, but we still got all these title matches, and coming up next, oh wait, let me give you your points. Let me give the points to Absolution. Yeah, I agree. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Now for this one, the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Now last time we seen that Damian Rage was back at 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 least money in a bank, but then after Pierce Perch came back, Damian Rage comes back and automatically has an opportunity to be on top of Showtime for the World Heavyweight Championship. But he's got to go through. You dealt with the Mac before. But you're dealing with the bigger brother of the Mac family. And that man, he's a bad dude. But we're battling against both bad dudes. Only win this. Damien or Mello. And it's right now. And we're going to send it right now to Mike Rome for the introduction. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the Ring Stampede Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. The World Heavyweight title is on the line and you can tell the crowd is waiting for this man to come back. And there he is, Mr. MFA himself, one of the most violent, 
one of the most violent superstars on any roster. This man is back. And hopefully if he comes back with a world title. Oh, we're going to have a violent Fridays. If y'all don't know, Damian Rage has had some history with Marcus back then. It goes all the way back to GWE, back at Masterpiece. But however, the last time he's battled his brothers was for the match advantage. And that was where him, Benson, and Seth Rollins won that match. So if you want to think about it, technically Melo is 0-1 against Damian Rage. But this is not where they have their partners or family. It's 1v1. I mean, Damian Rage, you do have an opportunity to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Your first title in RSW is a possibility. I'm not even going to hold you guys at that. If anyone could do it, it's definitely Damian Rage. Damian Rage has been a champion no matter where he goes. He's been nothing but violent along the way. And we'll see how he does here tonight. We'll see how he does because he's got to go through the World Heavyweight Champion who shocked everybody. And there is Carmelo Mack, the three-time World Heavyweight Champion. If y'all don't know, Carmelo Mack, he's been gone away. And ever since, he defeated Kazuto Okada, Seth Rollins, Damian Priest to be exact to be in his way for the world title. Melo has been one heck of a new attitude and new beginnings. And that is what it's all about. Carmelo Mack has the world championship. You'll just stick with the quality. Yeah, I don't know what the heck be going on with the quality and stuff. Because it's trash. I'm not even going to hold. But we're going to send it down to Mike Rowan for the introduction. Introducing the challenger from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 268 pounds, the destroyer, Damian Rage. And his opponent from Arkham, Massachusetts, weighing in at 257 pounds, he is the ring. Stampede Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion, The Animal, Carmelo Mack. Dang, it's still pixelated, bruh. Like, I literally dropped it down from 720 to 540? Yeah, 540. Like... Anyway, the World Heavyweight title is on the line here. And Felicia Carr holds the championship high and proud. Who's going to walk out with the gold? Will Rage get his first title? Or will Carmelo cement his legacy? And here we go. And already, you, you got to watch out for these two. Because these match power for power. These two are violent as it is. And Damian... Oh, I think Damien was looking for it. Yeah, I agree. It's that's crazy. That is crazy. I because I always stick with the 720, but I don't stick it to like high. I always stick it to standards. That way, like, 
If anything happens, like I can still stream it on a regular basis. <laughs> and Damian Rage waiting for Damian. And Damian Rage with those kicks onto the big brother of the Mac family. As Rage coming back from the hiatus and has the opportunity to be on top of the world. Oh, stop, Damien. Oh, stop. Oh, just let me be. Nice powerbomb by Damien Rage. And Rage again going for the steel steps. But Car Carmelo, knowing that he's in great danger, he's going up against one of the most violent superstars in history. And look at that. Nice, nice move by Melo. Into the cover, but no. Melo kicking out at one, and there's that big boot. That's good, Lord Jesus. Hey! I didn't want to say shit. But Damian Rage, so far having a momentum, and both Melo going for that still steps. But Damian Rage. It's like, nope, not this time. And wait a minute, what the hell? We seen this from the, oh, Panama Sun, or should I say the Milwaukee Sunrise? Yes, I said it there, Milwaukee Sunrise. That's something we've seen from Marcus's playbook. And Melo, I don't think Melo takes that too lightly from that. Uh-oh, what this, what does Melo got playing here? Should I say Rage? Oh, try to go for that clothesline. Uh-oh, Damian Rage. Damian Rage, oh, and there's that clothesline. There's that clothesline, and Felicia Carr into the cover. Oh, but Melo kicks out at two. What is Melo trying to do here? Oh, great. Or should I say Rage? Rage grabbing the steel steps. Again, no disqualifications. Oh, good thing he saw that coming. What does he got playing here? Oh, no. Melo with a nice counter. Uh-oh. I think we may batten down the hatches. Oh, no. I thought we was going to bat down the hatches. Suplex into a cutter. Damian Rage could have this moment. He could be on top of the mountain. And it may be possible. It, oh no. It, whoa. We haven't seen that from Melo. We don't see that from Melo in a while. Uh oh. And Rage gets hit with stuff of heaven. Into the cover too. But Rage kicks out at two. It is thundering in Philadelphia. The crowd wants it to fight forever. And oh, pile driver. Damian Rage. Uh-oh, Rage is going to go for it again. Rage can shock the world here. And there's another clothesline. Could Rage win his first title in his career? Oh, so freaking close. And uh-oh, Rage not wasting any time. He wants to end it quick. But Melo's like, no, you're not going to hit me. Oh, a nice take by Damien. And now Melo... He's got to find a way to seal the deal here. Damian Rage. Damian Rage showing that he still has what it takes to win the world title. But Melo. Melo saying no, not, I don't think so. And what does Melo got playing it? Oh, no. We've seen ladders, but I don't think ladders have been used. I know the crowd wants some tables. 
I know the crowd wants tables. And, oh no, and there's that kick. There's that Claymore kick. Is that enough? No, Melo kicks out at two. And oh, there's that wicked clothesline from out of nowhere. But Rage is not quitting. Oh man, Melo's like, what the hell? I've hit him with the Larry and it doesn't do it. I hit him with the sub of heaven, it doesn't do it. I'm telling you, you're talking to a man who's been in a ring with him. And there's that rocket kick by Damien. And golly, this is one heck of power versus power. I agree, that clothesline does hurt. That clothesline is like one. That clothesline came from out of nowhere. And there's that other clothesline. I gotta be honest, if if Melo hits a clothesline, it could be over, but Damien Rage. If I was Damien, I'd go for the kill. Damien Rage. Oh, wait a minute. Did he hit him? I don't think he did. Oh, and there we go. Now he did. And all went again, but Melo. Melo with one clothesline, not done. And a second one. And a third clothesline. Oh. Melo. And oh, try to go for a clothesline, but oh good Lord Jesus. Carmelo Mack. I don't know what he's trying to do here. Is he gonna plot to throw it on Damien? And, oh! Again, there's still steps. He's telling Rage, stay down. We know what's good for you. And again, it. Uh oh. Rage has been busted wide open. Yeah, if I was if I was Rage, I'd find a way to play a little possum quick. Cause Damien Rage is waiting again. Melo using the steel steps. He's telling Damien stay down. But I don't think he will. Like Damien Rage. Damien Rage. Uh oh. Oh no. No, not on the ladder. No, no, no. Oh! One wing devil onto the ladder. But Melo kicks out again. You have got to be kidding me. And look at that frog splash. Shades of Marcus into the cover. But Melo kicks out again. Oh my God. Rage is seeking violence. Rage wants the violence. He wants that power. He wants the hunger. Good Lord Jesus. I got to admit, out of all these matches I've seen, oh, nice move by Damian Rage. I got to be honest, Melo. You shouldn't have busted Damian wide open because that just left you a target. And Rage is violent as it is when he's bloodied up. And there's that quote. Another lariat. And look at that. It, oh my god. Good lord. Melo with power. But Rage is still in this. I think if anyone hits a move, it could be over. It, oh no. Yep. I said it. If anyone hits a special, it's over. Oh, and there's that wicked clothesline. Is that enough? One, two, Damien Rage is the new World Heavyweight Champion. Wow, wow, wow. I said it before and I'll say it again. You can't bust out Damien Rage. And we got a brand new World Heavyweight Champion. Wow. Here is your winner. And new 
ring, stampede, wrestling, world hey. heavyweight Hey, you can't do that to Felicia. The Destroyer, Damien Rage. But there you see it. Damien Rage is the new and... Oh, man. What a moment for Damien Rage to come back and is now on top of the mountain. Damien Rage is the new World Heavyweight Champion. We're in the era of the violence in Damien Rage. Wow. That is the first title change we've seen. Damian Rage is now the new World Heavyweight Champion. Congratulations to Rage. As I'm going to pull the points out to all the believers. And wow, that's a shocker. But yeah, that's a shocker. Damian Rage wins the World Heavyweight Championship. As I'm going to start the prediction for this next one. Alright, this next match for the RSW Women's Championship. Now, this came about with Eve Torres winning and showing off her skills ever since she came to RSW. And Vanessa Tiller, she's put out every opponent away from her arsenal. But the question is, can Vanessa take out another worthy competitor or will Eve Torres win the title it's Torres and Tiller right now and there we go we'll send it down to Mike Rome for the introduction the following contest is an extreme rules match and is for the ring stampede wrestling women's championship I mean you want to technically call that okay but this is not about twerking. This is about the title. And here comes Eve Torres. I'm going to be honest. If Eve Torres shocks the world, what does this mean for Black Bullet? Because let's be honest, Vanessa Tiller's by herself. She doesn't have her friends. She doesn't have Ivy. She's getting ready for a match. The main event later. And then we know Jenny Stone as well as Whitney Wolfwood and Evelyn Gregory. They're still in recovery mode. But here comes the women's champion who does not back down from anybody. She's a Boricua badass, if you say so, from Drip's mouth. And I know Ill Skills is watching this because he's got a show. At least he walks out still the champ. At least he's walking out still a champion. Yeah, it's been one second. And there you see the women's champion. Well, hey, I mean, the Tillers could leave with no gold around their waist. I got to be honest. And that's what I said about the Max, too. But so far, Marcus is still the Intercontinental Champion. And he walked away against Gunther and Finn Balor. But the Tillers could not have no gold at the house. If that's what it's all about, we're going to send it down to Mike Rohn for the introduction. Introducing the challenger from Denver, Colorado, E. Torres. And her opponent from Brooklyn, New York, she is the ring stampede wrestling women's champion, the state princess B. And 
Alexa Taylor holds that championship in her grasp as she's defending it here tonight against Eve Torres in Philadelphia. And Felicia Carr holds the championship high. Hopefully Felicia's okay because Damian Rage shouldn't have done that. I really technically should find Rage, but I ain't going to do that. He won the world title. I ain't going to do that. And so far, Vanessa Tiller. Ooh, nice DDT by Vanessa. You guys don't know the history of Vanessa Tiller. Ever since she was told to get a mean streak back at Fantasy World Wrestling, Ivy's been training her under the hand to get a mean streak. And so far, Vanessa Tiller's been having that mean streak ever since joining with Ivy. And Vanessa hopefully could walk away with gold. Nice turn Corrado by Vanessa. And Vanessa going high risk. Springboard DDT. That's what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. And nice by Vanessa. Lee Torres. Ooh, looking for a spinning back fist, but no. And Eve, ooh. My fault, guys. I'm getting a text message. <laughs> and Eve Torres, oh no. Not good. Not good for Vanessa. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh shit. Guys, we've seen injuries. We've seen a bunch of action here in RSW. We've seen fire tables. Like, good lord Jesus. I've seen it all here. And Eve Torres. Eve Torres moving the announce table. Like, for real, no one is going to the announce table. That's a shocker right there. Uh-oh, Vanessa got that sledgehammer. Yeah, Eve, you shouldn't have taught. Now, I'm saying Vanessa. Uh-oh, round and round you go. Round and round you fall. And Eve Torres, uh-oh. Eve. Eve. Oh, snap DDT. I think it was right on the hard part of that hammer. And look at that. Vanessa playing smart. My fault, guys. I'm getting a text message. <laughs> and look at that. E. Torres. Nice with the arm bar. Arm bar locked in. Now E with a suplex. That's E. Torres. Sorry, y'all. I'm getting a text message from a little bit of business proposition as usual. As you already know. And Eve Torres. Eve Torres working on the back of Vanessa. Hey, yo, Scales. I got a bet. Who do you think going to twerk first? 
You be the judge. Who you think gonna twerk first? <laughs> Sorry, Jet. Don't kill me. Ooh. You no, not you, King Spare Wolf. I'm talking about Vanessa and Eve. Oh, you think Eve gonna twerk first? Okay. <laughs> I'm put I'm putting you onto that bet. I'm putting you onto that bet. Well, not really, guys, but we're not really betting on nothing. But so far, Vanessa. Vanessa taking out the arm of E. Torres. Oh, nice kick by E. Now E. Torres. Nice drop kick. Ooh. Oh, and there's that forearm by E. And E. Torres so far has been dominant. Ah. Uh, I know Scales is waiting for someone to twerk for God's sakes. You're saying battle of the booty. You already know how he, you already know. Uh-oh. E. Torres could shock the world here. Heartbreaker. There's the heartbreaker. Will it be heartbreak for the teller? No. Kick out at two. That could have been a heartbreak for Vanessa. And you hear Philly saying fight forever. I mean, Eve, I don't know what he's doing. She could have hit a moonsault or something. Or maybe not. She doesn't want... I don't think she's focused on twerking right now. As this is one heck of a heck of a extreme rules that we're having. And Vanessa gonna go into the cover. Look at the leg and no. And what is up, King Live JD? You see him twerking. Oh, good Lord Jesus. And so far, E. Torres has shocked us all. Ah, uh, I thought he was. I thought he. I thought Skills was going to get his wish. Skills was going to get his prayers. Oh, try to go for the insecurity. Nice counter by E. Oh, someone saying my name, your name right? I was going to say JD or like JD. But like, I was going to fuck it up. I was going to fuck it up. I ain't going to, I ain't going to cap. You're going to take Jay home. Oh, gosh. You're going to take Eve home. Good Lord Jesus. Tell that to, tell that to his, her, her husband. Tell that to Eve's husband. And these two, they're meeting. Good Lord Jesus. I know Skills want to see a twerk off. She, skills want to see a booty. Yeah, Eve is going in because he wants she wants to shock the world. I mean Eve wants Eve Eve's got a <laughs> She has a date with a real champ. Oh good Lord Jesus. What am I gonna do with you, King Sparewolf? Round and round you go, round and round you fall. I mean, I mean, Skills just wanted a booty pop. <laughs> he said, damn it, into the cover, hook of the leg. And Eve Torres kicking out at two. Yeah, Skills don't want this match to end. He just wants to see some booty shakes. And, oh, good Lord Jesus. Eve Torres. Uh-oh, I don't think Eve needs a booty shake. But what she needs is a heartbreaker. And will it be heartbreak for Vanessa? Two. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, the Tillers. They don't have gold no more. Because Eve Torres is your new 
RSW Women's Champion. Wow. Here is your winner. Women's Champion E. Torres. Talk about shockers. E. Torres was all about business before pleasure. And the pleasure for E is that she's walking out as RSW Women's Champion. Wow. Oh God, King Spear was already hollering at the new champ. Wow, so far, I'm gonna be honest, who who the heck summoned these points? Cause I'm about to figure it out right now. Wow, ill skills getting the points. Congratulations to Eve Torres. The new RSW Women's Champion. Dang, I can tell Jib and Vanessa, they're going to be mad at me. But I didn't play it. But we are, uh, step aside. We are at our co-main event of the evening. The co-main event. And I swear on everything that I love, if the person on the left wins this championship, I may, y'all may not see me no more. I put that on God. I put that on everything that I love. You is not seeing me on the stream. No more. I swear, I'm putting it that way. But I'm going to tell you how this match came about. Give me one second. Okay. Now. <laughs> oh, man. But this match for the vacant RSW Championship. Now, how this came about. Now, Marcus Mack was technically supposed to defend it against Sheamus at Extreme Rules. But Marcus came to me and said, I'm going to focus on the Intercontinental Championship and make it more prestige. So... Sheamus still has his opportunity, but we had 12 superstars battle it out to see who would face Sheamus for the RSW Championship, and sad enough, it's the freaking Miz. I don't, hey, I don't know, I don't know, publicity, I don't even know. But I have a way to RSW Championship on the line right now. And this is our co-main event, guys. This is our co-main event. Uh, I don't even know how this dude even got into this extreme rule. Like, bro, how? It's one thing I can't take Grayson Waller, but this dude, this dude has an opportunity no. Uh, please let me puke. I know King Spare Will's ready to throw up, and so am I. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And is for the Ring Stampede Wrestling Championship. Making his way to the ring. From Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! I don't know how The Miz is still ecstatic about this because this guy, he escaped over Edge and Master CJ. He beat LA Knight and Rey Mysterio in the finals to get here. Like, I'm legit gonna throw up if this dude... This dude right here wins the title. Like, I'm legit gonna puke. Oh, good Lord Jesus. But at least I can say this. Philadelphia. It's Fight Night, baby. There is the Celtic Warrior 
hoping to win the world and title. Host, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Sheamus, who has won a battle royal to automatically earn himself an opportunity for the RSW Championship. Sheamus looking to shock. Well, not really shock because he's done it before. But looking to get his first championship in his career in RSW. And King Sparewolf, thank you so much for the five bids. I truly, truly appreciate you. And that's what it's all about. The RSW Championship is on the line. And that is banking. No one holds that title. Somebody's going to walk away with a gold. It will be either The Miz or Sheamus. Please let it not be The Miz because I will legit leave this live. And The Miz already on some offense. Already going to the cover. Sheamus, please kick out at one. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, The Miz or else. Oh, Lord Jesus. Right, I agree, I agree. Who the miss? Some somebody about to happen. Well, miss so far, I hate saying it. He may be a Grand Slam champion, but come on, this is freaking RSW, right? Nobody cares about your Hollywood movie star good looks. Nobody cares about that. Like, come on. And Seamus, I swear on everything. If you do not focus on the uh oh, I'm sorry, I, I literally just threw up in my mouth and th Seamus, nice counter right there. I'm trying my best not to be biased as possible. I'm like legit trying not to be biased, but I hate to say it, The Miz, you gotta be careful with him. He's sneaky, he's calculative, and he can hit, he can hit at any time. Like, the... I'm legit, I'm legit, I legit about to throw up in my mouth. I legit was 10 seconds of throwing up in my mouth, saying something good about the Miz. Oh, and Miz got that bat, but nope. He's saying, hey, better, better, nice strike. And I know the people saying we want tables. And the Miz, nice counter by Sheamus. Yep, that's that that's right. That's right, King Spirit Wolf. You got that right. I'll be happy if Sheamus I'll be happy when Sheamus becomes the new RSW champion. I ain't gonna change that, but I think I just did. But hopefully it happens. Uh-oh, Sheamus looking to hit a little bit of white noise. White noise by Sheamus counted. Sign seal delivered. Let's go home and god damn it. Damn this. He kicked out. Shit. Elbow drop. Not finished yet. And a third elbow drop. And Sheamus. Nice knee drop. And Sheamus taking it to the Miz. Miz top. Okay. Awesome Anthony. No. That is an automatic lie. I do not see him as a top 10. No, Miz is not top 10. No. If you're talking heels, then maybe. If you're talking like promo battle, maybe. But if we're talking in ring, no, he's not. He is awful. Good Lord Jesus. If you want to say promos, then yes. I would say Miz is top 10 in promos. But in ring, absolutely the freak not. And these two, they're just... Oh, please hit a pro kick. Please hit it. Ah, darn it. You can't stand him out of nowhere with a pro kick. Uh, and the Miz. 
Well, I gotta admit, the Miz is smart taking out the leg of Sheamus. Oh my god. Awesome, Anthony. You, you need your brain check. You definitely need your brain check. I, I, oh god. And now Miz is, oh, bro kick! Bro kick! I don't know, I was paying attention to the covers, into the cover! Oh, 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 oh. Damn it! Oh, look at this, Irish curse! Oh, but not done, another bro kick! Another bro kick, into the cover! And oh! Oh, God damn it! God damn it! I was hoping Sheamus got that win after a second bro kick. God damn. Oh, I knew what Sheamus wanted. And Miz. Miz, nice move there. But Sheamus rolling out the ring. Pretty smart by she Celtic Warrior in a game. Reality No, stop it. Stop it. Oh, good lord. I don't know what this is, but come on. This is getting crazy. And May is going to go into the cover. Hook at a leg. I swear to God. Ooh. Oh, it's trying me. 2K, you're trying my... Miz was looking for the skull crushing finale, but does not get it. Uppercut by Sheamus to the back of the neck. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think this will be all over as soon as this... As soon as Miz is no longer on our screen. I think it will all be over. And, oh, Sheamus trying to go for that bat, but Miz, again, taking out the leg of Sheamus. And the Miz trying to grab that skill steps, but Sheamus, he's like, nice try. And Iris Curse, not done. How about one more? And there's a third Iris Curse. I agree. Don't let the bum beat you. Any one of these two can walk out with the RSW Championship. And I swear, Miz, if he does it, I'm going to cry. I'm going to legit cry. And Sheamus. Sheamus in a third time. Oh! I don't think he got it. I don't think Sheamus got him with the probe. What? Sheamus, what are you doing? Ah, oh, Sheamus, you idiot! Ah, oh, man, Sheamus tried to go for a third time, but Miz rolled out of the way. Oh, God. Please, for the love of God. No. No. Skull crushing finale. Oh, my God, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Skull crushing finale does not do it. And Sheamus with a power bomb. And will that be enough to... Sheamus is the new RSW champion. Oh, thank God. I was about to flip my freaking bed. Oh my god. But there it is, a power bomb seal the deal. Sheamus is the new RSW champion. Here's your winner. And new ring stampede wrestling champion, the Celtic Warrior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, there is a God. 
<laughs> oh god, I was literally about to throw my chair out the window. I was gonna do that too. I ain't gonna hold you. But congratulations. Congratulations to King Live JD for believing in the Celtic Warrior as always. We got a brand new RSW World Champion in the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Stellar performance by Sheamus. But before we get into our main event, we're going to give you guys a recap. Now, as you guys know, yes, we crowned new World Tag Team Champions in Lars Malenko and Travel Armless. And then in the opening, Ill Skills defeated Rip Messiah to retain this title. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know how AJ Wolf does it, but he is walking out still the RSW United States Champion. This match kind of ended in controversy because JC Jane and Violet both pinned uh, their prospective partners. So, technically, you would say the new Toxic Attraction one, but really, it was controversial. Marcus Max survived both Gunther and Finn Balor and walking out still Intercontinental Champion. And then Spitfire Warriors were too little too late as Maggie Morgan and Dallas Cole still women's tag team champions. Damian Rage coming back from the dead and he made the world know that Showtime is going to be violent as Damian Rage is the new world heavyweight champion. And then another shocker, Eve Torres Shocking the world and becoming the brand new RSW World Champ Women's Champion. And then Sheamus is going to be some drinks on him for the Brawling Brutes because it's banger after banger. Sheamus is your new RSW Champion. But guys, you should already know what time it is. And hey, give me a second. I got to get my water. I got to stay hydrated as always. <sighs> and give me a second. I got to put the predictions up. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to put the predictions up. You guys already know what time it is. It's night of the evening, and it is for the IWGP Women's Championship. It's battle between Ivy Gutierrez Mac, the first lady. Versus the pillar of AEW. Now, in case y'all know, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, has been getting under the skin of Ivy Gutierrez. But Ivy is just that chick who won't back down from nobody. But the question on everybody's mind, can the pillar finally be the one to defeat the first lady of RSW? Or will Ivy walk out still... The IWGP Women's Champion. Only time will tell. And this match starts right now. And let's send it down to Mike Rowan for the inter final introduction. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And is for the International Wrestling Grand Prix Women's Champion. You should already know that this is going to be one of them matches that you will soon not forget. And here comes the challenger, the pillar. And guys, if y'all don't know, Dr. Britt Baker is another Pennsylvania native, but she is from Pittsburgh, not from 
uh, Philadelphia, but she's rocking Philly colors. I got to give it that. Dr. Britt Baker has the opportunity to silence all critters that has doubted her to ever win a championship here in RSW. Last time she had an opportunity was back at Hell in a Cell against Nikita Lyons, but she was unsuccessful. But can Dr. Britt Baker prove that this isn't the case and she's a different woman? And you can't talk about women's division without the pioneer, the women's champion, Ivy Gutierrez Mack. If y'all don't know, Ivy Gutierrez has held on to that championship for a while. I'm going to be honest, this is the first we've seen Ivy not walk out with no championships in a premium live event. She's just that girl. Let's be honest, ever since she won it back at Backlash, every premium live event, Ivy has walked in as IWGP Women's Champion. Ivy is just that damn good. She may take out a pillar, but Ivy has stood forth and took out everyone that was in her way. Becky Lynch is one of them. Queen Zelina, another. Carmella, another. Gigi Dolan. Like, she's taken out a few stars already. But the question is, can Ivy keep the gold for absolution and for her career? This is what it's all about. This is the first time the women are main event in a RSW live event. Let's send it down to Mike Rome for the introduction. Introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dr. Britt Baker. And her opponent from Houston, Texas, she is the International Wrestling Grand Prix Women's Champion, the Queen, Ivy Gutierrez. Mac. This is the first time that women are main event in our premium live event. This is the first time in history that we've ever get to do that. And there you see Felicia Carr showing the title to Dr. Britt Baker. This is the main event, the IWGP Women's title on the line. Dr. Britt Baker, Ivy Gutierrez. Title on the line. Here we go. Main event time and Dr. Britt Baker. Dr. Britt Baker already going for the kill, but Ivy. Ivy, nice counter. And Ivy going high risk and look at that. Ivy Gutierrez just that damn good. God damn. 1.1k? God damn. Oh. Hey, don't be cheap with the channel points, y'all. And Ivy, shades of the family. There's Vertigo. Vertigo by Ivy Gutierrez. Guys, let me know what y'all best match. What's y'all? What was y'all favorite match of Extreme Rules? Besides winning, uh oh. There you see the tables locked in. I mean, you got tables. God darn it. And now Ivy. Oh, she Garoshi. Ushigaroshi by Ivy. And Ivy just taking it to the IWGP Challenger. Yeah, I was about to say champion. <laughs> but Dr. Britt Baker is in deep, deep trouble. And you know, one's got a lock jaw, one's got a poison Ivy. And Ivy Gutierrez. Cold breaker by Dr. Britt Baker and Ivy. Ooh, nice punch right to the face by the pillar. And Dr. Britt Baker grabbing a sledgehammer, but Ivy saw that. A nice kick right to the back by Ivy Gutierrez. The champion knows what it means to win. I mean, Ivy currently holds four championships from four different companies, and ooh, Enziguri. 
Yes, if y'all don't know, Ivy Gutierrez is also the current WDW X Division, Women's X Division Champion. Also, Eternal Riot Pro Wrestling's first ever hardcore champion. And she's also the EPW Women's Heritage Champion from EPW. Ivy has been champion. Ivy has been champion no matter Oh, oh no. Right on the left hand. And you know Ivy cannot get hit with that locked jaw because if she does, it's all over. And Ivy Gutierrez. What does Ivy got playing here? Ooh! Nice double knees. And into the cover. And an instant kick out at one. Ivy Gutierrez. This is the first time these two are in the ring together. You know, Ivy's got her sights on some other competitors. For example, like Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan. She wants some fresh competition. And Dr. Britt Baker, Ivy doing a smart thing, rolling out the rain, but I'm not sure if it's going to be smart. Oh, kind of ugly. Yeah, that's true. Ivy has been champ for a while. Ivy has been champ for a while. Like, so far, no one has been able to know the secret of taking out Ivy Gutierrez. Dr. Britt Baker, hopefully, to become the one to knock her down. And Ivy gets rid of that sledgehammer and uses it for herself. And Ivy just lying and laying on the pillar and just daring her to get back up. Like, so far, Ivy's just knowing what to do. She is a champ for a reason. She's trained. She's professional. She knows how to get the job done. But Dr. Britt Baker ain't no damn slouch either. Yeah, I agree. Ivy is dominating with that sledgehammer. And again, the sledgehammer right onto the stomach. And now Dr. Britt Baker takes it away. And the table's now turning for the challenger. Table's turned for the challenger. And oh! Headbutt by Ivy. And taken out the leg of Dr. Britt Baker. And again going after the right ankle. And then now to the left. Super kick on target. Yeah, I agree. These women, it's the first time we're seeing these two battle it out. Ooh, air raid crash. The pillar wants to make the champ tap out. I mean, not everyone's invincible here. We've seen shocks and alls. And again, going after the injured leg of Dr. of Ivy Gutierrez. I know. Nice counter. Oh! There's the IV injection! IV injection! But Dr. Britt Baker kicks out! Oh man, IV injection. Oh, into the cover! Dr. Britt Baker, look at the circus on! No! Kick out! And there's that elbow strike, and again, go after. Stay on the aggressive side. Do not let the champ get any momentum. And Ivy, and again, the sledgehammer paying dividends. Good Lord Jesus. So far, the challenger, the challenger's knowing the secret formula to take out the queen, the first lady. And Ivy, May be in deep, deep trouble. And again, a sledgehammer. I don't know how Dr. Britt Baker and Ivy, they're just going to kill each other. They're just going to kill each other. And again, the bat. I mean, sledgehammer. These two women, they're just going to kill each other here. We may not have a women's division for these two. And, oh, and again. Again, the sledgehammer. Ivy Gutierrez telling her, come on, is that all you got? 
Dr. Britt Baker maybe down and out it. Oh, nice counter. Nice elbow strike by Dr. Britt Baker. And again, Ivy doing the smart thing, rolling out the ring. Making sure she does not get pinned or submitted. Uh-oh. What has Ivy got planned here? Ivy wants to hit it. She wants to go for the fatality. But no. Dr. Britt Baker with an insane counter. And no, and Ivy will kick. No. Good Lord Jesus. Anything can happen. And all is Dobby. Good Lord Jesus. Dr. Britt Baker. Gonna go into the corner. A nice clothesline. And uh-oh. Dr. Britt Baker. She wants to go for the lock job, but no. Ivy counters with the lock job. But uh oh. Fatality again. No. Oh my god. These women know their moves inside and out. Like first, going for the lock job, but no. Then a fatality, but no. Oh my God. And Dr. Britt Baker gonna go into the cover. Hugging a leg. Oh my God. We have got a new IWGP Women's Champion. And Dr. Britt Baker, the pillar, has shocked the world. I think she got him right in the face. Right into the face. Here is your winner and new International Wrestling Grand Prix Women's Champion, Dr. Britt Baker. Dr. Britt Baker, the pillar, is on top of the mountain in the extreme rules. I guess it's safe to say home field advantage really does fit well for the pill for the uh good lord Jesus. I'm shocked the pillar is champion. Wow. And that's the first time that Ivy has lost her championship. Wow, the pillar is champion. Congratulations to the new IWGP Women's Champion and Dr. Britt Baker live in Philadelphia. And some, I think Ivy needs to get checked. Ivy may need to get checked from that sledgehammer right into the face. I think she got it right on the nose. Like, oh, good Lord. But, guys, that was one hell of a show. Congratulations to Ill Skills, King Spare Wolf. I'm going to get to that a little bit later. Marcus Mack, Absolution, Damian Rage, Eve Torres, Sheamus, and now Dr. Britt Baker. Congratulations to those guys winning the championship that they rightfully deserve. Good Lord Jesus. That was one hell of a show, you guys. That was one hell of a show for you guys. And thank you guys so much. Shout out to King Spare Wolf. Shout out to Future. Shout out to JD. King Live JD. Shout out to the Wolves. Shout out to everybody who has shown support. Step King Game. All that. I truly, truly am thankful. I appreciate you guys. Y'all are the real MVPs. Y'all are the real ones. As Extreme Rules. Oh boy. And don't forget. Coming up the next pay-per-view. Will be Survivor Series. That will be Brand versus Brand. And also don't forget. We also am going to have an all women's pay-per-view. So I hope Dr. Britt Baker can hold that championship where because. Oh man. A lot could happen. Because we got people from EPW, GWE. A lot can happen in RSW. Only time will tell, my man. Only time will tell, future. But thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, it's been one heck of a ride. 
It's been one heck of a show. I truly am thankful. As always, we're going to end it off with a raid. And I got to see who's on. Yep, I already know who I'm going to raid. I already know who we're going to raid. We are going to raid my homegirl, Chelsea. We're going to raid my homegirl, Chelsea, you, as she is streaming uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And hold up. I don't know if it worked. Guys, bear with me. Guys, bear with me. <laughs> you know how it is with technical difficulties. Okay. There we go. And King Spare Wolf, thank you so much for the five bits. I truly, truly appreciate it. And guys, I don't do this for money. I just do this for fun. I just do this for the fun of it. Oh, hold up, hold up. First it was working, and then it wants to be a ridiculous pain in the ass. Okay, there we go. So we're going to raid shows as she is streaming uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We're going to show her some love in the chat. I will be back for Rebellion, and I will give you guys more updates on the all-women's pay-per-view. So be on the lookout as we are on the road to Survivor Series War Games. I'm Chulio G1K. Thank you guys so much, and good night from Philadelphia.